Here we've got some information about a firm's outstanding bonds, and we are looking for an estimate of that firm's after-tax cost of debt. One possible use for this is uh, some number that's going to go into RD in our WAC formula. And so here, um, since we've got pricing data for the bond, we're going to use as an estimate for the cost of debt the yield to maturity on the firm's outstanding bonds. So what do we have here? We've got a par value, and this is, this is per bond, so we've got a par value of $1,000, the market price of $955. And so when we think about uh, the math of our bond pricing formula, that's going to be an FV, and that's going to be a PV. We'll give this a negative sign when we plug it into our calculators. We've got semi-annual coupons paying a rate of 5%. So that 5%, remember that is split into two semi-annual components. And so 5% of 1,000 per year is $50. Split into two is going to be 25. So that's going to go into PMT in our uh, computations. And uh, since we have 15 years left to maturity, our semi-annual N is going to equal 30. And so that's going to get us to a number that we're going to call RD. And that's kind of not going to be our final answer, but it's going to get us to RD. So let me calculate that real quick. So the RD in the above calculations is 5.4433% or 0.0544. Okay. But we're asked for after-tax cost of debt. And so we know that in the WAC formula, we multiply RD times 1 minus the tax rate. That's the after-tax cost of debt. So this is what we want. So RD times 1 minus the tax rate is 0 0.05443 times 1 minus the tax rate of 26%. And that is 0 0.05443. Four, oh, three. So there's the answer. So that's after tax. This number here, uh, we would call a pre-tax cost of debt.